new update for dragon champions we are talking about all of the patch notes talking about the new characters and yes we are looking at our demons for this upcoming general murdoch event and if you guys are all ready for that you know what to do guys let's go smash it valley flying What is up, champions? Valley Flying here. I am back. Welcome to the Valley Flying 76 channel. In this video, we are talking about Dragon Champions. Yes, we had an update just drop. We're going to talk about the patch notes for this update. We got some new characters in the game. So we're going to take a look at these two new characters. One is out farmable. One is not farmable yet. So we're going to take a look at both of them. And we're going to take a look at my demons because in a couple days, General Murdoch, the third legendary character coming to Dragon Champions. So we're definitely going to take a look at my demons and uh, hopefully I will be ready for this General Murdoch event because he is pretty good. So first thing, uh, if you are new to this channel, Dragon Champions, if you are new to this game and have not played this yet, uh, you can download this and that link does support the channel. There is a link in the description. You could download this on either iOS OS or Google and like I said it supports the channel so play it if uh, you enjoy some of the stuff that uh, is in this video and it, it entices you to play this game but let's take a look at the new characters guys first things first and the new character that I want to talk about first is this guy right here slinger and ooh, this is the new leader for the demons now there are two other leaders when we go back Shador and buff they both have leadership abilities but currently not really uh farmable yet so slinger is probably going to be the leader for this squad right here and we will talk about that last because it's right here so let's go first uh let's look at his skills right here he is in order so one of the good guys of the game demon fighter warrior and yes has that all important leadership ability that the demons are lacking right now uh with farmable characters that are uh, currently in the game so uh let's take a look at his basic at max level this is probably what you're going to use on turn one with slinger dealing 250 damage physical da uh, physical damage to an enemy so uh the characters that don't have a lot of physical armor he will be able to attack very very well has a 50 percent chance to decrease the target's turn meter by 10 percent so 50% chance it is a coin flip guys it is not like a high percentage move but uh it is nice it is not going to be game changing it's not going to be match changing to remove some turn meter only 10% but it, it is nice thing to have and uh, if it this does proc you can kind of screw up the turn meter of the enemy team so this is a nice ability you know, on a basic so like I said not huge but but good let's take a look at his special though his special little slingshot let's move this down to at max level 300% 370 percent excuse me of physical damage to an enemy so again uh you want those guys with low physical armor two out of three cooldowns are not available on turn one but probably can use this on turn two if you want to inflicts damage decrease for two turns so this is a nice uh move that you can hit the big damage dealer on the enemy inflicting them with damage decrease so they're just not dealing out as many as much damage to you especially if you hit a character that has a big aoe coming up so if you could time this move that would be very very nice so uh, good character uh decent so far nothing nothing game changing i don't know if this is gonna be a meta breaking or a meta changing character but it's a good little character especially with his uh availability very available uh character right here cannonball is the next skill this is his big aoe guys two out of four on the cooldown so you could use this probably on turn two just dealing 250 damage to all enemies critical hits remove one buff from an enemy and this could be big guys if he is getting that crit chance increase from his passive that we're going to talk about in just a little bit he is critting a lot and if you are removing one buff for each crit i mean you could potentially remove a taunt so that that is always a good thing if that happens so uh this is a good move i like this and let's get to his passive we kind of mentioned it earlier but you have a, a you, you get to gain one of these three uh buffs damage increase critical chance increase or critical damage increase you gain it for one turn at the end of his turn so this is happening from turn two on he is getting a nice buff unless it gets dis dispelled by one of the other characters so nice thing to have increasing his damage increasing his crit chance uh yeah nice 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 and let's take a look at his leadership ability currently the only leadership ability for that whole demon faction if you're planning to run a whole demon faction right there guys 
All right, so all demons gain 20% of their maximum health. So that is good. They, they just get more survivable. They have a bigger health pool. That is always good. Now, this is an interesting one. Every time an ally suffers a critical hit, all allies recover 5% of their turn meter. All ally demons recover twice that amount. So very interesting. I'm not sure how the mechanics are going to work on this, but interesting if your full demons team gets hit by an AOE, they all crit. Are they all getting 50% turn meter because of the five of them? I am not sure. I will have to get clarification on that, but that's the first thing that popped in my head. But nice, nice uh, uh, increase of the turn meter. That's always good. This is a turn based game, guys. So yes, more turn meter always good and uh, i'm liking this character like i said not meta changing meta breaking but uh good little character and i just noticed he's got an eye right there what the heck is that guys all right let's go take a look at the next character let's move this into all filter and let's go all the way to the bottom take a look at the new character in the game right now and that is instructor goram now no way to farm this guy yet no way to tell what is uh how he will be farmable in the future but this is that uh, little piggy the piggy bomb and he, he has a pig hat uh interesting this is the thing that we saw in that screenshot guys and uh yeah very interesting design choices by the developers all right let's take a look at his basic ability well done and i already see some synergy there with adam guys so maybe these goblins are getting their time to shine especially with general murdoch coming to the game with this legendary event deals 240 percent of physical damage to an enemy calls adam to assist when he is on the battlefield if that hit was critical adam gains taunt for one turn so this is a strong basic ability if you're running a whole full goblin team and adam is on your team i i like this i like this ability right here uh for a basic looking pretty good i hope he will be farmable in a uh not super hard to farm way all right this is pig cry he is summoning half pig henchman with 60 percent of gorm's health and 60% of his damage is, uh, that is the summit. That is this pig guy right here. So interesting stuff. Uh, not sure what the kit is like. I'm not sure if we can find it right here on this basic abilities page, but yes, uh, interesting stuff. And another summoner, always good stuff. I am, I'm a fan of summoners, guys. Let's go take a look at his big ultimate ability. 330% damage to an enemy, single target attack. Calls half pig henchmen to assist when they're alive so hopefully you use the special then the ultimate restores one turn of ability to all allied half pig henchmen so uh yeah it looks like you can get multiple of these half pig henchmen on the field at once so this will be very very good when uh, if you're getting all of these uh half pig henchmen to assist you on this move so it could be a very very big damaging move on that uh on that single target and his passive let's take a look at it at max level gorum gains a 40 percent critical damage increase and an additional five percent for each allied living half pig henchman on the battlefield so good i i like this passive i think it is a good one if you're really building up instructor gorum this is uh probably one you want to do as well but let's shift over, guys. Let's go take a look at the patch notes. All right. So general notes here. Slinger, we talked about. Gorm, we talked about. Rune tournaments are temporarily over. Um, I like them. I like them when they're game. And uh, the more runes, the better, guys. Uh, added new tournaments. Tournaments, more tournaments are always fun. Tournament battle groups are now going to be filled evenly rather than consistently. Two players who have passed in that same qualifying event at the same time are now likely to end up in different groups not sure how i feel about this um i, I think i want to experience it before i give my thoughts on it because tournaments they're kind of a they're kind of a hit and miss at least for me so um good stuff if an inactive player is removed from the guild he will automatically join a temporary guild instead of being an assigned to an active one and this this was a problem in other games that i have seen so i'm glad they're they are doing this uh letters with excessive runes can now contain more than one rune that is good uh, uh added the ability to inspect players rosters not only single heroes uh-oh gonna be some uh, creepers on the lookout for other people's rosters with this one guys 
you can now ignore, uh, turn off ignore invitations to a guild. Uh, that that's a good thing for me. I'm getting I'm getting a lot of invitations, guys. A uh, balance changes. Little Batty is now a gladiator. Now this was a character that I haven't used, so this is not going to affect me too much personally. But let me know if this is a big big change for you guys in the comments, guys. Uh, fix the bugs that cause game lags on some powerful devices. Uh, I guess my device isn't powerful enough. I haven't experienced that bug too much. And so small improvements and fixes. So overall, some good stuff, not like uh, game changing stuff, but stuff that I think that needed to be done. So those are the new things in the game. We talked about the new hero Slinger. We talked about the near hero Gorum, but we did not talk about the summon from Gorum Poom. This is a clans, fighter, warrior, pig, boom. First ability, it is going to deal 100% of physical damage to an enemy calls all half pig hedgemen to assist if they're alive so yeah you probably need a lot of these half pig henchmen to on the field to really maximize the use of this new hero gorum uh the special ability it is a zero out of three cooldown so this is something coming way later 80 percent of physical damage to all enemies so aoe attack from a summon it's nice inflicts days for two turns or inflict stun for one turn we're not sure so i think that is just uh they're not sure right i think that is just that uh, specific notes from the devs that they're not sure what they're going to do with this character's kit yet so we will have to see all right some balance changes now most of these aren't affecting a lot of in-game experience right now because most of these characters aren't really farmable in any way right now first is panda rin the unseen had a few changes but like i said she is not a farmable character right now so uh base speed decreased fans of blade the second ability was decreased cooldown it was two out of uh, four before it or was two out of three it is now two out of four it is dealing less damage to all enemies and that is the big change and uh as far as the passive ability it gains a 15 percent physical damage increase not a 35 so just a slight nerf for rindy unseen uh makes me think that she may be coming to the game soon uh general murdoch got a slight nerf as well again a character not in the game not released yet but will be in a couple days so a little bit more buff the wording was changed on his passive ability but a little bit of damage decrease to the third ability that ultimate pride uh renara a bunch of changes here this is uh regeneration to ally for two turns it was three so a little bit of a nerf to renara as well in the second ability the special heal all allies for 400 percent instead of 600 percent so nerf it's all around guys for all of these characters the third ability that ultimate the cooldown goes from four uh, is four to five and it was three out of four so happening less often and the passive ability uh you're she, she gains she dead for two turns and recovers 25 percent health instead of 30 percent health now this last one mega wheel this is one of the characters that i'm working on as you will see when we start to talk about the demons uh this is going to be my fifth demon guys because i don't think i'm going to be able to farm this dude right here uh slinger i forgot the name is slinger uh right away to unlock general murdoch so yes we, we will we will uh this mega wheel is the guy that we're going with mega wheel got a buff deals 230 percent damage it was 180 percent so more damage there and then on the third ability that ultimate you getting uh 220 percent damage to all enemies instead of 210 so uh looks good and then 40 additional 50 percent extra physical damage for pain stack removed from the enemy and uh, it was 40 percent. so and then this is just kind of repeats everything that was just said let's go back into the game and let's check out my demons guys all right and here are the demons guys yes so kyra venomay zantara they are ready they are good to go i've been working on these characters for a while they are all over 10,000 total power and they're actually all over uh very close to being over 14,000 total power for each of them so looking very good i i don't think i have to worry about these characters these are the two characters that I have to work about uh puncher face very good character haven't given him a lot of love though just been focused on other things other legendary events so definitely need to build him up the good thing he is a good good character and he's already at seven stars so i don't have to worry about farming shards for him this guy is going to be a problem as you can see i have not unlocked his node yet he's on clans 8-3 invasion of demons 4-3 and yeah not yet yet uh not yet uh unlocked either of those nodes so all of the stars i have for this character guys just 
from those orb pulls that I did early on in the game. So got lucky with those for Mega Wheel, uh, not knowing that he would have an event, but yes, he is, he definitely needs a lot of love, a lot of work, more gear, uh, more better runes. Oh my goodness. I, I'm just looking at the runes that I have him now. Those are horrible. So I definitely got to build those up guys. And yeah, that is where we're looking at. Let's go to the goblins real quick. We'll look at general Murdoch guys and take a look at his kit. Gives you my general thoughts on him because this is a good character and uh, his basic is looking pretty good. It is uh, some big damage to an enemy, physical damage, damage decrease for two turns, similar to the kit that we just saw guys um next is it's a trap and this does a lot of stuff very big it is at 400 physical damage if the target is affected by slow decrease or turn meter by 50 percent if the target is affected by damage decrease summons a random ally to help so yeah if you use the basic on turn one gives it that damage decrease and then on turn two coming back with this one pretty good guys all right this one is slow bombing this is another big aoe attack very similar kit to the demon that we just saw 250 percent damage physical uh damage to all enemies 70 percent chance to inflict slow for two turns that can be huge guys slow again this is a turn-based game so slowing down or speeding up any is huge and has huge ramifications in the battle passive ability oh there's a long wall of text guys general murder skills gain 30 percent more potency against members of the order and 30 percent additional potency against the elves these goblins I don't like the elves guys so he's getting more potent with all of his stuff depending on who the enemies are and oh all uh, this is a nice leadership ability guys all uh, uh, goblins they boost their turn meter by 20 percent and have a 50 percent chance to summon a random goblin for help when dealing a critical hit 20 percent uh turn meter every time they crit can be triggered once per turn this is this is a very very strong leadership ability so yeah i am building my demons guys let me know how you guys are going to do for this general murdoch event let me know how you guys are uh, liking this update so far and yeah let me know in the comments what kind of content you want to see from dragon champions or some other games that i am playing let me know guys check out some links if you want to support the channel see more content on this channel and my plan i haven't been very good with it but my plan is to do at least two videos per week on this channel so yes I, I feel more videos this week coming there's a lot of stuff to do especially with this general murdoch event coming so uh yes i will see you guys next time i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did subscribe more videos coming guys and yes like i said there are ways to support the channel in the description hulk fist bump baby valley flying out